Uh, good to start off post break with, with a win. I thought for the most part our guys played really well tonight. Um, struggled down, you know, some real nice teaching points uh, down the stretch that we struggled with. That uh, as far as the fouls and um, you know, again, just an NBA game never being over. And uh, you know, that's something that you know we we hope to learn that lesson in a win. Um, but I really, you know, we really thought our guys played hard. We came out and started the game, locked in, disciplined, got out to a nice, uh, you know, a nice flow. Uh, Harrison was was really, really good. I thought De'Aaron down the stretch made some big time plays, uh, shooting it with confidence, that steal on, uh, you know, in the backcourt late in the game. Uh, but overall, uh, I thought, you know, happy with, with uh Starting off uh, the last twenty-eight with that with that game, Luke James Ham, NBC Sports. Um, the two fouls you talk about there by your veterans that made those yeah. mistakes. Uh, like, what does that do to your psyche as you're coaching? Yeah, I mean, we talked about it in the locker room. In, in the in those guys, Harrison and Baysmore were great all night long. Uh, so you know, it's like it's you're gonna make mistakes, uh, and and we just have to we have to learn from that. Uh, and most most nights, I had, listen. The game goes again. It's the end of a close game. Harrison and Bays are two guys that I have all the confidence and faith in the world that they uh, they'll make the right plays and, and won't foul. So, um, you know, was, we can't have it. Uh, and I, I don't expect those guys uh, would do that again. Luke Sean Kenny, I'm ABC Ten. Can you talk a little about just De'Aaron in the fourth quarter and how it just seems like he flips a switch almost in, in those times? He was good, but it wasn't just the fourth. He was good in the fourth, and I know what you talk about with flipping the switch. But I thought for tonight he was um, he was in attack mode most of the night. Uh, I thought he played with a nice pace about him, um, and he he was he was out there leading us tonight. He was vocal. He was calling sets. He was getting people in their spots. And then when the game get, got close, like a lot of NBA games will do, no matter what happens in the first uh, 42 minutes, those last six minutes, a lot of these games will always get close. Uh, De'Aaron made some big time plays for us. Luke, when you look at the way that you guys were able to hold on against a team that's ahead of you in the standings, what does that sort of mean for your, you know, the way that you guys need to take off here in, in the second half? The last well, yeah, I mean, it's... To me, it's more, um, you know, it's more exciting as the coach to see that, all right, we went to break, we came back. Where are we at? Are we, you know, we were playing some pretty good basketball before we left. And, you know, we took two losses, but to Milwaukee and Dallas on the road, you know, right before All-Star, that's, you know, that's, those are two really good teams. But we were playing some really good basketball. So to come out and see that our guys came back, locked in, ready to go. And, and that's how I felt coming out of the last two practices. Um, again, to me, shows how they've been all year long, which is they're going to they're, they're gonna keep playing hard, they're going to keep fighting, um, keep trying to uh, to get better. You stuck with Harry Giles in the fourth quarter, and he came up with three huge defensive plays, the two blocks and the, uh, the charge sure. late. Uh, just how much... Do you need more of that from him? Those smart plays that yeah, we need. Floor? You know, he he's he gives us the toughness and the edge when he's playing that way. And uh, tonight he made he made some winning plays. Um, minus that six foul late on the free throw box out, but he he made he he deserved and earned to be on the court at the end. But that edge and fire he plays with that the crowd loves so much. Um, we need that. So you know it, he was he he was he was good tonight. Um, we needed all of it, and you know happy with with his performance overall. Uh, Luke Jason Jones, the Athletic, uh, going back to even last month. It's been about a month now where the team has kind of seemed like they've been in a, in, a, in a rhythm pretty much since you made the change to the starting lineup. Considering you do have some guys still out, as part of that has been the fact that this is the group you've had for a good while now, and so guys are more comfortable with each other. They know each other. They know who's going to play. Excuse me, who's going to play, and they've kind of found their groove like that. Yeah, the, uh, it feels that way. Um, and there's still moments we stall out offensively um, that we we continue to to watch film on and, and try to clean up. Um, but it does, it, especially to start games right now, it feels like we're in a pretty good groove. Uh, I think Buddy's doing a spectacular job um, with 
you know, what we're asking him to do is is just coming in and being instant offense, playing starter minutes, playing starter uh, roles down the stretch still. Um, but it's kind of it's kind of helped balance out that bench. And then, you know, guys are getting familiar with each other. Corey looks very comfortable out there. Bays has been a nice little fit. So, you know, we're missing some big pieces still. But out of the guys that we have, there's a there's been a nice chemistry and flow to the way we've been playing. Luke, Jason Anderson, Sacramento B. What, um, whether you want to put your guys your, yourselves in the conversation or not, um, the way it's it's the Western Conference is very jumbled from like the eight, nine, ten, eleven spots, so twelve, uh, thirteen. Um, what do you think? You know, these last eight weeks are are going to look like in the West. Uh, it's going to be entertaining. It's going to be a lot of fun. You're going to see. Um, I think you're going to see a lot of high-level basketball down down the stretch. Um, teams, you know, even the, the teams that are in the playoffs for sure, jockeying for position, knowing how important that home court is, and uh, it's going to be it's going to be entertaining, and it's it's going to be great for our group. You know, to we got a lot of we got a lot of these playoff uh, these you know these top rec te te teams with top records uh, left. So I mean, this. this what a great challenge and a great feel um, for us to try to grow from and uh, try to win as, as many as possible. Um, but for me, again, it comes down to just keep doing everything we can day by day, get better and better as a group and we keep, uh, keep moving forward.